Former NAACP president Rachel Dolezal's racial identification choice is sparking anger in San Antonio. For years, Dolezal identified herself as black when she was born white. Now a San Antonio woman has a unique perspective to share because she's made a similar decision. Yeah, and Marvin Hurst is following that story for us right now. He's live with more on a family secret about race. Marvin? Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning to you, Sarah. Verda Bird thought she was an African-American woman for seven decades. She was adopted. Well, after a search for her biological parents, she found out a well-kept family secret. She was really white. If you look through the pictures of Verda Wagner Bird's life in Newton, Kansas, it's a good one. She was a daughter of railroad porter Ray Wagner and his wife Edwina. Life was good. I'm comfortable with being... A black woman. The couple adopted her back in the 1940s. She found out but never questioned her race. But her story of privilege and progress turned over a shocking page. At age 70, she found out she was white. And I grew up not questioning birth birth or anything else because it was never, it was never told to me that I was born white. Missouri adoption records show she was born Jeanette Beagle, the daughter of Earl and Daisy Beagle, Caucasian transients. Jeanette became a ward of the state after her father walked out on 10 kids and her mother fell nearly 30 feet in a trolley accident. I wouldn't go back to my birth name if I had to. Jeanette Beagle does not fit Verda Bird. Jeanette Beagle does not have an education. Jeanette Beagle has no social security money because she never worked she never even went to kindergarten and verda bird who was ripped from her white heritage has definite opinions about rachel dolezal the former naacp leader who chose to be black why are you so upset with her because she lied about her race i didn't lie because i didn't know Verda Bird has other siblings. As a matter of fact, I spoke with one of her sisters. She says they don't talk about race at all. At the end of the day, Bird does acknowledge that she and Rachel Dolezal did both make a choice to be black, just for different reasons. Reporting live, Marvin Hurst, Ken's Five, Eyewitness News. I told her he didn't have to marry her to sleep with her. He already paid for that privilege. But did they marry? Yes. They had a child, a little girl. The birth was very hard. She died soon after. What happened to the child? Fabre left town soon after Laurette died, took their daughter. It was the best thing. Too many people knew what her mother was. You mean what she had been? Was. A one-quarter negress. A quadroon. Then the child has nigger blood in her. Then the child has nigger blood in her. Nigger blood in her. Nigger blood in her. Nigger blood in her. Lorette was never that to me. It is indeed a tragic story, madam. A sorry ending to the woman who inspired that beautiful painting. Meet Madeline's mother. I don't believe it. She's the image of Madeline. But she doesn't look like a Negro. Thanks to her slave ancestors, she most definitely was. She was also a very expensive prostitute. That portrait used to hang in the finest house in New Orleans. Madeline's mother? <laughs> well, that's just too perfect. Madeline's the most precious thing on earth to Ori. And when she is disposed of... It ought to you kill here. That darky. She came to me. She is so upset about your persistent snooping. All I wanted to ask about was what the slaves talked about down at the quarter before they left. 
And I understand that their grapevine has already picked up rumors and gossip that started from quality white people. What are you trying to say, Ashton? It came to me like a bolt out of the blue from a man in Richmond. Well, naturally, I wanted to come here and see if the story had reached Charleston yet. What story? I have some rather distressing news, Madeline. Your mother was part Negro. I know that you've probably told Ori, and no doubt he said that our family... What stay is between Ori and me is none of your business, Ashton. But I'm sure he doesn't know the whole truth. Maybe even you don't know the whole truth. Your mother sold herself to men for money. You're lying. This awful man actually had a portrait of her that looked exactly like you, so there's no doubt about it. It hung in a house of ill repute, New Orleans, where your mother, she... Well, you know what I mean. But that was before your dad. I don't want to hear any more. Well, I don't blame you, Madeline. It must be so upsetting to know what your mother was. Yes, it is, Ashton. Now, what worries me is, is mother. I think a family scandal would just... Ashton! I love your mother. I love this family. If I thought one... There's still time, Madeline. Now, it's bound to come out sooner or later. I know that you and Ori wanted a baby, but you never really thought of how that would affect our family if that baby turned out to be, well, let's just say, different. Now, if you were no longer Ori Main's wife, then you couldn't ruin your baby's future or disgrace our family. Now, could you, Madeline? You must hate very much, Ashton. Yes, I do hate you very much, Madeline. Now, Kane Abed was right. Hatred is like wine. It improves with age. The easiest thing I ever did was to love you, and the hardest, to say goodbye. We can no longer be together. Please forgive me, my dearest Ori. I love you, Madeline.